I want to introduce you to the best value in H.264 DVRs anywhere in the industry. This is our LX series DVR. It's an H.264 compression, can record up to 240 frames per second, and displays in real time on all channels. It's available in a 4, 9, or 16 channel configuration. It includes up to 4 channels of audio in, 2 channels of audio out, 16 alarm inputs, and is also viewable using either compatible cell phones or PDAs. It has a simple to use interface. I'm going to demonstrate that interface right now. You'll notice all you have to do is you just hit one button on the remote and you can basically skim through all the different camera configurations. Right now you're looking at 16 cameras. Now we're looking at one. You can operate your PTZ directly through the remote control. You'll notice in the top left hand corner PTZ is highlighted in green. If you hit the PTZ button, now there'll be a flashing star, and now you can just operate your PTZ very simply. You can zoom, pan, and tilt all through the remote control from feet away from your DVR, no problem whatsoever. This unit also has the best web server that we have ever experienced. It'll allow you to connect up to four additional DVRs through the web server and view up to 64 cameras in one screen, and that's without using client software. The unit does also come with a client software. It's a professional version software that alarm monitoring companies can use or a guardhouse can use. It uses a separate port to connect to your DVRs that allow you to connect to an unlimited number of DVRs and cameras. It has mapping functions where you can drill down through, let's say, Google Earth to separate locations. That is also included free of charge with this particular DVR. It has both a uh, VGA and BNC outputs. Uh, in addition to that, it also has an extra BNC output for a call monitor. These particular, uh, the call monitor can actually be configured to display a series of cameras in sequence, or it can display a particular camera. It is a true call monitor, much like you would find with a matrix output. You'll notice here it's a very simple, easy menu to navigate. You get your status, volume, video adjustments, VGA display, backup device. You can use either an internal DVD burner or you can use the USB 2.0 interface to download video straight to a thumb drive. It can accommodate up to a 2 gigabyte thumb drive or you can use it to connect to an exterior or uh, a USB connected DVD burner or hard drive. You'll also notice that as you go through these menus, very simple to use again. Uh, your backup the device, just as we discussed. Uh, your setup configuration, again, is very easy. You got your pre camera, camera alarm, sequence display, scheduled record. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is we have advanced motion detection with this particular unit. Of course, you can label all of your cameras. As you go through your particular cameras, you can set up all of your settings individually per, per camera. You can also copy that straight over. Uh, as I'm going to this particular camera to show you the motion, I do want to point out your technicians will love a certain feature. You can download, the after you have set up your first DVR, the entire configuration of the DVR includes all motion sensing, labeling of cameras, everything, down through the USB to a thumb drive. You can then take that same thumb drive and upload it to any additional units that you're setting up and upload the entire configuration in one shot, saving you at least an hour worth of configuration and setup and you can do that on all of these DVRs. Um, motion settings, we have advanced motion settings. I do want to point out how neat this particular feature is. You'll notice here that it's a large grid for motion setting. Uh, in this particular uh, scenario here, you can actually test your motion setting and adjust your sensitivity right here. You'll notice as we look at it, as cars are passing by, that you'll see the red areas that are detecting motion, the pixels that are actually detecting the motion. But you'll also notice that the trees that are waving, it is not detecting that. You have two ways of handling that. Of course, you can mask an area out if you so desire. But what's even better with this unit is you just adjust the sensitivity. So right now we have it set up to level six, and it's working perfectly. Just the cars are being detected. People would also be detected, but not the trees or the leaves that are moving around. This unit can record it up to D1 on every channel. So you can get 704 by 480 resolution on every channel. You can search by time or event. So it does have a smart search system. 
This is also available with a POS fully integrated system. It's an additional option that's available. With that unit, you would not need a VSI text overlay machine. You can actually connect directly to the printer output from a POS system into your DVR and then text overlay all of that onto your video. You can hold up a three terabytes worth of internal hard drives. That's four hard drives of 750 gigabytes apiece. In our next video, we will discuss the web server. If you have any questions, please contact us and let us know. But I guarantee you one thing, this is the best value in H.264 DVR technology on the market anywhere. And I think that you'll be very happy with this particular unit. And I know from our experience that your customers will love it.